and truly we thank God for you. But when you say you agree with Peter Cox, you're agreeing with Peter's statement that the son is not going to judge at the end of days. And when you agree well, with that statement, sorry, go ahead. Well, well, well but you don't understand, with my understanding, the Bible says the judge, <laughs> it's the son going to judge and God's going to judge. But who's really the judge? That's the question. No, well, I, I'm about to show you because it's both. We believe that Jesus Christ is both. That's for sure. But he's judging but he's only through one his heaven. son. You can't say both. Well, well yeah, because because they're Jesus Christ is God the Father. He was. If you talk about the son, you can't say the son is still uh, God the Father. He was God the Father. You can't I'm say. Sure I'm gonna show you guys how he's still. I'm, I'm gonna show you how he's still both. And, and when right, I yeah. say show you, we're gonna go to scripture. We're not gonna yeah, go to TNT. But, but but make sure you rightly divide it. Open it up. That's what you're for here, Peter. You're here. You're here to open all it right. up. <laughs> God bless you. So, all right, this is where we've been on. We're gonna stand on this square. We're not moving from this mark. For the Father all judgeth right. no man, but hath committed yeah. all judgment unto the Son. Now, when you guys say the son's not judging, not only you're disagreeing with this, but you're also disagreeing with the next verse, that all men should honor the son, yes. even as they honor the father, meaning the same honor. It, it he I, that honor, hold, hold on one second, Peter, I got you. He that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father, which hath sent him. So one, one more verse, and then I got you, Peter. One more verse. All right. So you guys are saying, well, that doesn't talk about the end of day judgment. That's talking about Jesus judging with the word of God while he was walking. Well, let's wait a minute, because in First Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 10, it says, and to wait for his son, who you're supposed to honor as you honor the father. Otherwise, you dishonor the father. Again, wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead. Why are we waiting for him to come from heaven? Because he's going to judge. Even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. One more verse, and then I got you, Peter Cox. Those who say, right. those who say, uh, well, the Son of, he's no longer, he's no longer together. They're no longer together anymore. Well, Scripture says different, and I, I love you, brothers, but I'm going with Scripture because we are looking for that blessed hope in the book of Titus, chapter two, verse thirteen, and that glorious appearing of the great God. Yes, that's God Almighty. And our Savior, Jesus Christ. That combines them together as one. All the scriptures I've said combines them together as one. Now, we believe Jesus Christ is God Almighty, but some of you are saying you don't believe that he is coming back to judge as the Son. It's going to be God the Father through his Son. And that's what scripture says. No, the scriptures don't say that, son. Let me well, ask you. Okay. Help, help me open it up then, Peter. All right. <laughs> you was right at first. That's All just right. what was talking about before he died. All right. He said because he sent him in the world. God never sent the Son of God into the world after he died. Never. For what? To send him in to do what? He has no more use for that body. After he died, it did the work. The body rose, finished. though, Peter. The, the, yes, the body rose, but the Son mm. of God didn't. The, okay. the work that the Son of God had to do was done. It was finished. The only thing that was left was a natural dead body of what once was the son. But you so also said, because, wait a minute, was it? Just right. because God, just because God raised up that body, he didn't raise uh -huh. up the son. If he all was right. to raise up the son, he would have to raise it up just the way he raised up Lazarus. That's what you're wait, saying. Hold up, that's what, that's what you're adding. All right. Did, what did, did the son? Did the son consist? Nobody of, said I got to raise it up the way I raised Lazarus. Nobody you said that. But Peter Cox. to be the same one. Before to be the same one, it had to be raised up the same way. That's what you're but saying, then, Peter Cox. Then, then how is the son going to be raised up if he's not with flesh and blood and a natural breath of life like he was walking around? Glorified body. He was with, walking around. A, wait a minute. Is the son of God was the son of God a glorified body walking around? It wasn't flesh and blood. Then, then where's, what happened to the flesh and blood then? Okay. <laughs> that's what well, I'm we, we're going to in circles, Peter. What, <laughs> no, what happened to the flesh and blood? Because that's what the only thing the Son of God consists of. So when you, when you say that's, the Son of God. That's you what you're adding, God. brother. That's what you're adding. But the scripture says no, that the I'm Son is coming back from heaven. So, uh, no, what's coming back it from heaven? It doesn't say that? 
what's coming back from heaven? Watch this now. It says what's the coming back from heaven. Maybe I got to slow it down. All right, my but fault. If the Son of God, watch this now. If the Son of God is coming back from heaven, show me where did he? When did he go to heaven? Okay, we know oh. when he went to heaven. No, show me. If the Bible got that verse, yeah, the Bible the didn't say. Send it up into heaven. He said, "God received up." Sorry, go ahead, brother. First Timothy three sixteen tells you who went to heaven, and Hebrews uh, five seven. It says God, that, which is God yeah. Himself. But, but when we when we when we stand on the on the baseline that we all agree that Jesus Christ is God, then then there you go. That fulfills that. So so who uh, according <laughs> to First Timothy three sixteen, who was who who was received up in the heaven, the uh, God or the Son of God? They are one, Peter Cox. No, they were one. They were one when he was walking around in the flesh. So it when was so, one so, God. Wait a minute. Why is it when it says they are one? It was one God with two natures at that time. When okay, Thomas when, had, when Thomas had, he only had one nature, spirit. What happened? So, what happened to the flesh and blood? Okay, so Where I'm saying though, when when the spirit got back into the body of Jesus, they were no longer one. No. Doing, doing yeah, what because he got back, yeah, because he got back in his own dead body, but it to be one that son, that natural breath of life, but had to come back in it. Then they, they still, will be one again. Still one, Peter Cox, but he's no flesh and blood. Now, That's now, the part where. Watch it, watch it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Watch this. All right. If if me and you, B Bishop Johnson, breaks it down like this. Okay. If there's a house, That's and me script. and you stay in that house, all right. All right. Then me and you leave the house. What's left? It's just a house. Okay. It's just the house. It's neither your house nor my house, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Now, if I come back in the house and you don't, who who the who the house belong to? It's my house. <laughs> right. Now, let's take that body. Yeah, hold on, Two lives. Just what you're ready to tell. All right, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Two lives were in that one body, the life of the father and the life of the son shared that one body. When the when the father left the body, the spirit, or I try to say two spirits was in that body. The spirit of the son, which was the natural breath of life, okay. and the spirit of God, which was which was the Holy Ghost or the, the spirit of Christ. All right. When the when God left the body. Now it was one spirit left in that body. That was yeah. the natural breath of life. Yeah. So now that's the house. Two lives were sharing that house. Now, when God left the house, now only the breath, the son that was in that body. He he was in that house, but that temple. Now, when he left, now right. it was just a temple there, right? It was just a temple. Now that temple was laid in the tomb. Now, the breath of life of the Son of God didn't go back in that temple. All right. It was God went back in that temple, raised it up, changed it. It's all God now. It's under new management. The Son is no more in there. The Son is no more. For him to be the Son, that natural breath of life, when had to go back in that body, and now they become one again. So you're, 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 attributing, you're attributing the Son to be in the life the flesh and blood life, but not the body. Right. It, it was the was the natural brother life caused the son to live. Yeah, he was alive, flesh and blood, but also the spirit of God was in him. Yeah, I said that. I said the spirit of God was in him, and the natural brother life was in him. Okay, here Can't, let me try. That, let me try wait this minute, one. Wait a minute. Then that goes back to First John, uh, five and eight. There's three that bear witness in earth. In earth, what what what's in earth? Our earthly body. There's three that bear witness. What is those three that bear witness? The spirit, that's the natural breath of life, the water, which is 70% of our body consists of, and the blood. And it says these three agree in one. What you mean these three agree in one? You can't have one without the other. You got to have all three working together for that body to live. If you take the breath of life from that body, guess what? The body's dead. If you take if, if you take the water from that body and, and dehydrate it, guess what? The body is dead. 
If all the blood drain out that body, guess what? The body is dead. You got to have all three elements functioning, agreeing one with another for that body to be alive. Do you agree? Everybody that's alive right now got all three elements in them working together. You can't have one without the other. That's what it means. These three ag uh, uh, agree in one. What's they agree in? That you got to have all three working together. You can't have one working and the other one's not. If one of them stop working, then you're dead. All right. I just, um, again, Peter, I and I'm going to move it on to the next brother, but all right. I agree with most of what you're saying. Again, Jesus Christ is but God there, Almighty. But a but. They share the same body. But but I think the problem is you're attributing son of God only to the blood yes, that was in that body. I'm saying the flesh. So you, so you said flesh. Flesh and blood with a natural breath of life. That's what I consider the son of God is. Flesh and blood and a natural breath of life like us. We okay. consist of flesh and blood with a natural breath of life. So my last statement before I move to the next brother is you, you also said that he kept the titles. He kept the title of the son. Yes? God did. God kept the title of what he was once in. Okay, so 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 you're saying these words, God kept the title of the son, yes? No, God, no, no, don't say God kept the title of son. You, you I said, said that. God, <laughs> no, I said God kept the title of what he was once in. And what was that? He was once in that body, which was called his son. Okay, so you're saying it in a different way. You're saying... Just because, wait a minute, <laughs> just because God kept the title... Son, that don't mean he uh, is. Uh, hold up. You finally that, said that, it. That's you what you're trying to say. That's what you're trying to say. No, you, you're saying, you oh, just if said he it. the title, then, it's still, then he got to be still the son. No. No, no. no. no he so just got the title of what he was once in. Okay. He was once in the son. Okay. So you're saying remember, he kept the title. The remember, remember what the centurion said. Truly, this was the son of God. Then he turned around and Mark, he said, truly, this man was the son of God. Then another sister said, this now, was a now you're adding. Man. Hold up. Now you're adding. And then I say, add those are three women. All right. All right. Hold up. Don't be adding. Hold up. 